Delaware Bay. This is the time of year when thousands of red knots make a critical stopover before completing their journey to breeding grounds in the Arctic. What makes this location so unique is its concentration of horseshoe crabs and their eggs a vital source of food for the declining populations of birds. The, the main body of, of red knots in the western hemisphere winter in Tierra del Fuego, all the way at the southern end of Chile. So they're making a, a 10, 000, about a 10,000 mile one-way trip. So they're banking on this bonanza of food being here. Today, zoologists from the Endangered and Non-Game Species Program, along with dozens of volunteers from around the world, are setting up a cannon net to capture and tag red knots. We've worked out uh, the best place for laying the net uh, just above where they feed, but firing over the area where they feed. Then when we've got the number we want, which is about 100 to 150 today, in front of the net, safe, then we can fire the net from here. The net will come out over the top of the birds. Three, two, one, fire! Looks to go out very well, and I think we've got a lot of the team races to the net to cover and collect the birds as quickly as possible to minimize injury and stress. This is a good catch. No birds were in danger. Uh, we had, as far as I know, no injuries. And we've caught uh, over 100 knots. Okay, 10 birds to a box. The birds are placed into temporary pens until they can be banded, measured, and weighed. Blood and feather samples are taken from some birds for additional analysis. The data collected help zoologists to understand the health of the migrant and determine whether they will breed successfully in the Arctic. But the concern in this red knot horseshoe crab relationship is the overharvesting of this prehistoric arthropod. Zoologists believe that the reduction of crab eggs has the red knots in decline. When the commercial conch fishery came and the crabs were being taken by the millions, that was the problem. If the local fishermen were allowed to take their share uh, of crabs and they limited the commercial harvest, I think we would have a system that supported both baymen and shorebirds. New Jersey mandated a moratorium on crab harvest last year. However, Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia continue to take more than a half a million breeding-aged Delaware Bay crabs annually. For the sake of economic gain, why should some folks get to make the choice about what species live and what species don't? I think everybody has the right to see these animals in a hundred years. They have the right to be here. I think we just need to do a little bit to help it along.